வெல்கம் டு கம்ப்யூட்டர் அனாலிசிஸ் லேப் மை செல் மிஸ்டர் எல் கார்த்திக் அஸ்டன் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் இந்துஸ்தான் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் இன்ஜினியரிங் அண்ட் டெக்னாலஜி கோயம்புத்தூர் மை மெயில் ஐடி கார்த்திக் டாட் மேக் அட் ஹைசர் டாட் ஏசி டாட் இன் இந்த செஷன் வி கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் கம்ப்யூட்டர் எய்டட் அனாலிசிஸ் லேப் இன் விச் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் எக்ஸ்பெரிமெண்ட் ரெக்டாங்குலர் பிளேட் வித் சர்க்குலர் ஹோல் ஸோ வி கோயிங் டு அப்ளை லோடு over the rectangular plate so we're going to calculate the displacement vector sum and the result analysis welcome to the computed analysis lab session in this session we're going to discuss about rectangular plate with circular hole experiment it's a static structural analysis so one end is fixed another end we're going to apply load and we're going to calculate the displacement vector sum let me starts with reference and again we going to do structural analysis so pick structural then okay and now i already mentioned in ansys there are three major steps one is pre processor solution and post processor pre processor holds the maximum path and solution we going to apply the load conditions and the post processor it defines the results whatever we obtained so let me starts with uh, preference we have selected structural and now we move on to the pre processor select element type add edit delete add so since it is a solid uh, element so we going to select solid quad 4 node 182 is suits for this application then okay for this plane condition we going to apply the thickness value so use this option and change this status as plane stress with thickness so we need to add thickness value also okay close in this case we need to define the real constant value so select this add edit delete add if we pick the add then we need to be okay then here we need to mention the value as i just mention value here as 30 sorry 3 mm then okay close now we need to define the material property select the material model structural linear elastic isotropic and the x modulus value will be 210 e power 3 and the poisson ratio will be 0.3 okay then close there is no need to define the section but we need to create the model of rectangular plate so select this option modeling and to create c Uh, there is no need to select uh, key points or line directly we move on to area and here the rectangular is already there rectangular by two corner by center and corner by dimensions so i just give by center and corner so given the value as 200 width and the height as 100 then apply okay so we have created the rectangular plate and also we need to add the circular object inside this rectangular plate so again we select the area select circle solid circle so it is already defined the center point is at uh, the center so that there is no need to uh, define x and y we just give the value of radius as 20 and apply okay now the circular hole will be created circular part will be created we need to separate this circular part or we need to subtract this circular part for that we move on to the operate option then extrude operate boolean boolean op- uh, operation then in boolean we need to select subtract area then select the entire area pick apply and whatever the area we going to subtract then select the path only so this part only we going to select apply okay we can get the circle so the rectangular plate with the circular hole is created next step is to mesh select here mesh tool and area to be selected this area apply so element edge length here it is given so whatever the value we need to give 
So I just give two, then OK. Then again mesh tool, select the mesh, select this entire region, then apply. So as I am giving two is a minimum value. So it will split this element into equal number of smaller element. That's why it takes more time. If you decreasing the value, it will increase the number of elements. Then OK. <coughs> now the pre-processor part is over. Let me move on to the solution analysis type. So it is a static analysis. Then pick OK. Then define loads, apply structural displacement. Whereas uh, we need to select two lines. We need to fix that. One end is fixed, another end we are going to apply load. So I am going to select this online option. Select the left side of the rectangular plate and apply C and select all DYF as fixed. So there is no movement at all here. It is fixed since it is a static analysis. Then let me move on to the next one by applying a pressure. Again, I am going to select online option, but now this time I am going to select the right side of the rectangular plate, then apply and I am going to give the value load press value is 1000. If you give 1000, it is a load press value. It compress the part. If you give minus, then it will be act as a tensile force. Then OK. See here the direction of the arrow mark. It will act as a compressive load. Then the structural part is over. Almost the solution is done. So we are going to get the solution by using solve current LS. OK. Once the value is correct, the message will be like the solution is done then close now we the, the entire process is over now we can get the results so plot results deformed shape deformed plus undeformed okay so this blue color indicates the deformed part of the rectangular plate with circular hole and the white line indicates the actual shape the next contour plot nodal solution we're going to get the displacement vector sum okay so this will be the displacement value for given load press value of 1000 newton so this is the in this way we're going to calculate the rectangular plate with circular hole analysis thank you for this session we will meet in the next session thank you